everyone welcome back to my channel today is just a quick one i haven't done this in a long time and that is i've blind bought an affordable perfume for the purpose of talking about it on this channel i used to do it a lot i used to blind buy a lot of things that were in the more affordable range really just to create a little bit of channel fodder but i realized that i was stacking up a ton of fragrances that i wasn't really reaching for and it was kind of something I decided to stop. However, I was really tempted by this one and there wasn't a way for me to try it. I was influenced by Alice Dupark, who is on Instagram. She, I think she might be a journalist and fragrance reviewer. She actually went on a trip with Avon. So this is who this uh, perfume is by. She went on a trip with Avon to the uh, sort of, the perfume uh, house or laboratory or company where the fragrances are made and she learned a lot about the ingredients and the inspiration and all of that stuff and it sounded so good there's some apparently some good naturals in here and a lot of thought behind it from from watching Alice talk about it and so yes I was influenced and then the fact that it's really cheap and then it was on offer on top of that. And I think I got an extra discount. So basically, mega cheap. I think I paid about £14, not just for the fragrance, but for a travel spray and a body lotion. So they're all here. And then I added some shower gels to my order because the shower gels on Avon are really affordable as well. As cheap, if not cheaper than the average uh, low level brand at a supermarket. And they look like really nice shower gels. So I ordered a shit ton and they're all here. So I will go through those with you as well. But let's start off. So the perfume is here. Far away beyond the moon. So the far away line, I think has been going for years. I remember having a far away, away perfume when I was, maybe not a perfume, but maybe a, a related product back when I was a wee nipper. But yeah, so there's a lot of far away fragrances in the Avon line. And this one I understand is a floral amber. So there's a flower, I think it's called Lady of the Night. I don't know, I might have that wrong. I might, um, it's probably not Lady of the Night, but it's something like that. A, a particular flower that is apparently in the garden of where the perfume uh, brand is located. Um, and the perfumers are able to go out and smell the real life flower. And some technology has captured the scent of that flower. So we have this flower in here, which I'm not going to know what that is. And uh, there's some vanilla. And I'm sure there's some other notes. There was quite a few notes from when Alice was talking about it. But on Fragrantica, they have listing very minimal, minimal, minimal notes. So... Anywho, let's have a look. I was actually, I think partly the reason why I bought it is because I really like this bottle. It's got a little bit of dust on it from being in the box. But I think that's very, very attractive. Blue is probably my favourite colour. Um, it's, it's not obviously not an expensive bottle for £14. What do you expect? The lid is... Uh, plastic it's not brilliantly fitting but it's fine and as I say what do you expect and yeah I think this bottle is beautiful like, it's quite thick glass so yeah first impressions bottles nice box basic don't care one way or the other so I think we should just smell it let's get on with smelling it here we go right clean skin showered not so long ago i'm just gonna laden my hand up with the scent now i always make sure not to smell straight away i'm just breathing in now it does have that designer smell in the air which i'll elaborate on in just a moment yeah i always make sure not to smell straight away because alcohol overwhelms the nostril and you just need a, a moment for the alcohol to disappear and to actually get the fragrance now something about it in the air is reminding me of 
rolling in love, believe it or not, from by Killian. I'm not saying it's a dupe by any means, but just in the air, it reminds me of rolling in love. It reminds me of the florals from rolling in love. And it feels like there's a touch of a, a almond type biscuit note, which I get from rolling in love in the opening anyway. Um, but let's smell it up close now. Honestly, it smells a bit like rolling in love. So quite a strong floral that is mostly to me like a tuberose, maybe a tuberose and a gardenia mixed together, something like that, but it's not too tuberosey. Tuberose is, as I always say, and many of you that watch will know, Tuberose to me is a tits and arse flower. So it's basically, uh, it's that girl that's wearing the short top with the boobs out and the mini skirt at the same time. So it's a little bit brassy. It's a little bit in your face as a flower. I get a slight green tinge and a tiny hint of something soapy. The green tinge is more like a lily rather than anything foresty or leafy it's the it, it smells more like a, a green lily like note so a green lily with a tuberose slash gardenia or something thereabouts with a slightly sweet i don't think it's really almondy actually i felt that in the air but up close i don't but definitely a sweet, maybe a biscuit, but just not an almond biscuit now. Just a bit of a sweetness though. So the flowers are taking up that much room and the sweetnesses are taking up that much room. So it's mostly floral with a little bit of a sweet sort of, I don't think I call it gourmand though, but just a bit of a sweet touch. It's smooth, but it is a little bit sharp at the same time. So it's mostly smooth, but there's a sharpness to that floral slash green aroma. There's a freshness about it. And there's definitely an aroma chemical element to it as well i wouldn't say it's dry scratchy woody but it reminds me of the aroma chemical nature of rolling in love from killian there's something in that it's not too strong and i don't think many people will really pick up on it but when you smell a clone and i was once sent sent a fake decan of that and it was full of that aroma chemical so i think the the machine that tries to clone things when oftentimes picks up to picks up too much on the aroma chemical or maybe they just can't get or find all the other ingredients and so they overcompensate with the cheap aroma chemical that is easy to find I'm not sure how it works, I'm just guessing. But that aroma chemical that's in Rolling in Love, I feel like that's in here as well. I couldn't tell you what it is, but it could it probably is it probably is one of those woody ambers, but it's not overdone. But it does smell to me it's it does smell a bit synthetic. A little bit plasticky. Definitely smells modern designer. And it smells better than quite a lot of modern designer perfumes. So value wise, based on what I'm smelling now, it's exceptional because you can pay over a hundred pound now for a bottle of, of mid-range designer fragrance. I smelt one yesterday actually that I really didn't like. It was one of the scandals the one is a flanker of scandal and it's in the opaque red bottle. And I can't think if it's so scandal. That was awful, really plasticky, 
sharp, chemical, so unpleasant. It got a bit better with time, but I just wanted to scrub it off my hand. It was awful. This is way above par when it comes to comparing it to something like that. And I think at the moment I'm smelling it right up close. And I think if you're just catching it in the air, that's when you're going to just enjoy it. And it's going to be much more gentle. In the air, it's nice. There is a refreshing nature to it. A little bit of something fresh. Almost could be aquatic. But it's not aquatic like cool water, isinaki, nothing like that, but just something slightly, it's just reminding me of water, but it's not watery, it's quite strong. It's perfectly pleasant. I don't see me wearing it at the moment based on what I'm smelling. It's not really like rolling in love anymore, although I do still get the floral I still get that floral, that tuberose slash lily sort of green smell. And a little bit of that aroma chemical, it's difficult to describe. It might be adding a touch of sweetness and a touch of woodiness. But overall, very, very smooth. Everything is very smooth. Nothing's jutting out, nothing's shouting, screaming. It's not screechy. It's kind of dense, so it's a little foggy in its aura. Quite a compacted scent at the moment. I think I would be confident wearing this. I wouldn't think I smelt bad. It's just, maybe it's not sweet enough for me, actually. That might be what it is. And I'm sure the sweetness will come out because I know there's vanilla in here. There might even be real vanilla in here from what I remember. Maybe a vanilla absolute or something. But it is not vanillic at this point. But there is definitely a sweetness. And I feel like that sweetness is coming through. Like it's trying to come out and get, get stronger. I don't think it's a particularly modern typical designer fragrance smell so it's not going to appeal to everyone it's not going to appeal to the to the people that like really sweet fruity florals florals i don't know why i said it like that i think there's something about it that does make me think of jean paul gaultier maybe the scandal line but um i had scandal at paris that was lovely uh, that had a pear note there is a fruity note in here i think it's i can't remember what it is now i mean from to my nose i can feel a, a general fruitiness couldn't tell you what it is maybe a red berry or something difficult to say and there's a hint of a clean musk in there but not uh, not too much not a lot it's getting better the longer it's on my skin, which is good to know. So hopefully it'll get better and better. But yeah, so far it's getting the thumbs up because it's excellent value. Let's actually do it. It's getting the thumbs up because it is excellent value. I got the body lotion with it and uh, for sure I'll be using this. So let's pop some. So it's, you know, it's what you kind of expect. Let's pop some on the arm here. That's nice, that's much softer in scent. Very, you can smell the lotion ingredients, but in, it's in a good way in that it just smells sort of clean, clean and body lotion-y. I don't pick up much scent from it, actually. Let's give it, give it a shake. <laughs> Let's give it a shake. I'll try it on the other hand, on the other arm even. Very lightly scented, 
but actually that works for me because then I could just wear it with any of my perfumes. I mostly just smell the body lotion, like the actual ingredients of the body lotion. Maybe if I hadn't been smelling that so up close, I would get more from it. But really, I don't get much scent from that, to be honest with you. But even so, it's a nice uh, body lotion. It's, my skin feels moisturised. So for what, £14 for the body lotion, the perfume, and and a travel size, uh, you can't complain, can you? So that's a 10, 10 mil. May as well have a look. I'm not sure if it's a spray or a rollerball. Let's, let's check that out. So there it is. And it's actually a spray as well. So very handy to spray on the go. It's absolute bargain. Not quite my style of fragrance. A bit on the aroma chemical side for me. Even now, actually, I definitely get a pink fruitiness. Maybe it could even be something like a lychee. Something that's given me a slightly watery vibe as well. Perfectly pleasant, not for me though. So that is Avon's Far Away Beyond the Moon, lovely name. And let's smell some of these shower gels while we're here. So the one I was most excited about, and I have just smelt these all quickly. The one I was most excited about is this Aloha Monoi shower cream. These are really cheap, so 500 mils, that's half a litre there. And they were, I think they were less than two pound each. So absolute bargains. This one though was a bit of a disappointment. It smells more fruity than it does. I was expecting a Monoi oil smell. Yves Rocher have beautiful Monoi oil scented shower gels and, and everything, lotions and oils. And I was expecting something like that, like a vanilla frangipani type scent or tiare flower. And this is fruity. Fresh fruity, a bit like uh, mixed uh, mixed tropical fruits. So that's not really what I expected, but absolutely fine. It's nice, I'll use it, but it just didn't meet my expectations. This one's called Avon Senses Getaway Dreams Shower Gel. This is a very nice yellow colour. And this one smells like honeyed honeyed flowers so this is solar flowers and salty sea air scent can kind of go with that but it's, it's more honeyish than i would have guessed but i like it though i like that a lot more than the first one so that one's really nice this one's called raspberry delight and it smells like raspberry jelly so it doesn't smell like fresh raspberries it smells like a raspberry flavored jelly or a raspberry flavored dessert or something like that perfectly nice and we've got two more so this one's called sweet and joyful <laughs> and that's freesia and pomegranate i can't remember what this one smelled like got a bubble Eee. This is pretty. It smells like sherbet, so it smells fizzy and sweet and pink. It smells like raspberry flavoured sherbet. So I like that one a lot. It's not obviously it's pomegranate and freesia, whatever. It's raspberry, it's raspberry sherbet. It's nice, I like it. And then last but not least, orange twist is orange and jasmine. Now I smelt this one earlier and this smells like a really natural orange. Like you just literally just squashed an orange in your hand and you smell it. Yeah. It is like smelling real life orange. I can't, I can't say it more plainer than that. I'm, and I'm really impressed with that. Because if you, if, if you, if I had my eyes closed, if I had a blindfold on, and you had me smell that, I would say you've got an orange. I wouldn't I wouldn't be thinking of anything else. So that's nice. And maybe even a mandarin, it's got a little uh, tang to it. You know, mandarin's slightly different to orange. But yeah, definitely, it's 
smells like an orange or a mandarin. So that's really nice. That's all of them. I think they offer amazing value. I think Avon is well worth checking out. The fragrance in particular is not quite my cup of tea, but it's perfectly palatable. Great for youngsters on a tight budget. That's, I mean, it smells like a decent perfume that you bought in the drugstore for, you know, at least 30, 40, 50 quid. So fantastic value for money. The only problem is there's nowhere to go and smell Avon perfumes. And that's the shame of it. But a blind buy, or you, what you can do as well is if you don't want to blind buy the actual perfume, you could try their related products. You could just try that if they've got a shower gel that matches or a body lotion. You could try those to start with and if you like those then buy the perfume but that's my take on it anyway hiya just a quick impromptu update i wasn't going to do this but this fragrance is getting on my fruity bits and i had to share it it's only right that i tell you that that aroma chemical whatever that is I really don't like it. That's not to say you won't like it, but if you are like me and you're a little bit sensitive to those modern, I don't, I don't want to call it dry and scratchy on this occasion, but it's dry and almost fluffy. So it's not, it's not bad. It's not ugly. It's not disgusting but it aggravates me. It just has this non-natural smell. There's some sort of aroma chemical or maybe a combination of aroma chemicals that are a little dry and woody. And I'd say they make up most of the composition now on my skin. We're about an hour and a half, two hours since I sprayed it. And there's a hint of the floral. There's a little, still a bit of a soapiness, but ultimately it's a little bit dry, woody. It's a bit like Isoe Super, but not quite. There might be some in there, but it is just, uh, I think there'll be a lot of people that are completely fine with it, but that's not me. <laughs> it's not that sweet. I was expecting more of the vanilla to come through and it really hasn't. I, I, there's not a lot of sweetness in here. To the point that now the way it smells is completely unisex. Hardly any floral left. It's just a slight soapy floral in there, but mostly I get aroma chemicals that are completely nondescript, boring, not sweet not anything I just look you know you're wearing a fragrance it smells fairly pleasant but yeah unfortunately I really wanted this to be a good one I wanted to be able to come and say to you for 14 pounds you can get a really good fragrance and unfortunately I, I can't say that I gave it a thumbs up earlier and now I'm giving it a thumbs down. That's not to say it's not worth the money because for the price, if you're on a tight budget and you don't mind some of those aroma chemicals that the likes of me are moaning about all the time, you might be absolutely fine with it. I, I don't, I'm not saying it's not worth the money. I think it's as, still think it's as good as some of the designer fragrances out there, but I just personally don't like it. It's not to my taste at all. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you would like to see more on affordable fragrances because I know that most of the time I talk about indie perfumes, sometimes, sometimes more mass market niche, mostly indie. Very, very occasionally I talk about designers. So let me know if you'd like to see more on the affordable side of stuff. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye. -bye.